What, what, y'all? What's happening? How are you doing tonight? It's Tasty Thursday, Throwback Thursday. And we are in the kitchen getting down, I'm telling you. Because I got it. Drink some water. Make sure you have some water on hand. It's, it's getting hot in here. So, whew. A little flustered. I took Buddy for a walk. Weather was perfect. Hmm. I even ran a little in my new kicks. I'm gonna tell ya, these are pretty darn comfortable and they're pretty darn light. Uh oh. Hey, the bitter patter of the, the paws. Bitter patter of the paws. Can you see him? He's lurking in the kitchen because you know that he loves bananas. Can you see the mad banana house that we have in here? Can you hear me okay when I whisper? I had to turn the fan on because it's really, really super hot. Fa caldo qui nella cucina. Quando fa caldo. Woof. Woof. Non c'è odore. 40. Bye. Go. So we do. He's actually pretty good when I speak to him in Italian, believe it or not. Thank you, Tamara. Tamara having a good evening, I hope. Thank you about the kicks. These are super cool. 
and they're great for cross training. So if you want to get down and do some squats, we can do that too. But without further ado, the reason you're probably here and tuning in to begin with is you're wondering, what's she going to do with lacto-fermenting pesto? I love culturing in the kitchen. Like for me, it's a whole alchemy. It's that transformation and to me, whew, it's all about turning everything into gold. And it's really a loving act that whatever you do, you pour your love into it. L'amore esiste nella cucina, sai? Deve mettere tutto il cuore tu, dentro tutto che fai tu. Very, molto importante, it's very important. But whatever you do, you pour your heart into. So, I did not write this down. If I have some rad star out there that wants to write it down and then post it in the comments, I will truly appreciate you. Oh, I bow to you. Satnam, namaste, all those beautiful things that mean the light in me honors the light in you. I see my own true identity in you. You are me, I am you. See, the other is you. So here's the dealio, yo-yo. We're going to make up this pesto. I've got so much basil that I got the other day, and you have to use it up quickly, especially when it's in plastic bags. So I'm gonna probably have to pick through this while we talk, because it's not like I can just toss it in. Hi, Teresa, I know, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty Thursday, thirsty Thursday. Drink, drink, drink. Mm. If this is your first time, please do me a favor, in the comments, tell me where you're tuning in from. Let me know your health and fitness goals and maybe your overall lifetime, lifestyle, destiny, purpose in life. What is it you want to leave as your imprint? What do you want to be remembered for in this life? Now there's a rad thought and that's going to make people think even deeper than, well, I just want to be healthier, I just want to be skinny, or I just want to be this or that. When those are just steps to your ultimate destiny, your purpose. So, if you can embrace where you're at today, it'll make tomorrow so much sweeter, the emirate, the sweet nectar of life, than it would be if you get stuck in the past. If you become a prisoner of your past, Basil, if you can become a prisoner of your past, how can you be present? And you'll only be repeating the lessons from the past in your life. Hi Bethany, Portland, Texas. What, what, how's your weather darling? So what I'm going to do while we're wrapping, if you have any questions for me too, please place them in the comments. Share this video in any like, I don't know, whatever groups you can think of, whether it's maybe fermentation groups or um, pesto, Italian, uh, groups that can appreciate the kinds of things that we're gonna be doing here, which is basically around food, right? It's so fragrant and floral. I love pesto. I love basil. But when I learned how to make, and this is my own recipe, y'all. Like, I totally create this. This is, and I don't use oil. So this is also a no oil. But it is high fat because we're using avocado. So although I would say it may follow under keto, can't say for certain. It's definitely going to follow in the paleo um, and vegan and vegetarian. But you know what, ultimately my dad loves this. I know a lot of people who've tried it have told me they really liked it and they want the recipe. That's why I said, if somebody wants the recipe, the best thing you can do, write it down in the comments for me and I promise you, I'll put it all together, any tweaks that I need to make to it and I will post it along with pictures when I'm done. So again, if you have any questions, I will keep my eyes peeled, see what you're doing. Live an inspired life and focus, ah uh, yes. Yes, so although there is some here that we're doing mostly, <clears throat> so this is avocados. Hi Deb, how's the weather up there in Rhode Island? I love, up see I'm a New Englander. I was born and raised, began in Massachusetts and Boston and then we moved our way up to Maine because the, the crime got really bad in the late 70s, early 80s actually. And uh, my parents wanted a better life for us, so. Who couldn't understand that as a parent, I'm sure. So, isn't this beautiful? I love pesto. Hi, Cheryl, my darling. Yes, yes, yes. 
Looky, looky. See, when it has these brown spots here, it's already starting to kind of turn. And so what I do, I just pick it all off. You don't have to throw the whole leaf out. The whole leaf's not bad. Not just because one leaf is bad that you throw the whole bunch out, right? Isn't that the, the key of life? We want to ensure that we're embracing every aspect and not just throwing away the whole, as they say, the baby out with the bath water, which was a real thing. If you look up the history of that, I thought that was pretty fascinating. So, have you all had a good day today? Yes, the original dish, pesto, it's pesto allo, allo genovese. That's one of my favorites. Pesto genovese allo gen. Pesto al Genovese, which is really, really yummy. I don't know why the lighting changes sometimes. Hi, Diana. How are you, darling? How are you? Lots of big things happening for everyone. Finally came coming out of a retrograde, although we're still in the shadow. I'm getting ready to start another Kundalini Yoga teacher training. Number two, level two. I will be doing conscious communications. And... Uh, I'm working on my level two. Now, you know what I'm going to tell you right now, for those of you out there who feel you need to have certificates and things like that, this is the one thing I've learned in my life. I have my computer science degree with an understudy in management. And I've learned one thing. The certificate maketh not the person. It is the experience. So we can amass all this knowledge, all these ideas, these, this information. But the question is, how do we integrate it and apply it to our personal lives? Next, we have ginger. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I think I might throw some ginger in because I do like to do that. But I meant garlic. Aglio in Italiano. Questo è all'aglio. Aglio. Yes, aglio. Aglio means garlic in Italian. Johnny, Italian speakers out there. What, what? So I really get excited when I start making this, and so I'm, I'm trying to calm myself. So I don't know how many cloves I will put in for certain, but I've got two big chunky ones right here back to back. They're, they're butted up against each other, right? So garlic is really good for parasites. Really good if you have a cold. Some people are allergic to alums. Um, I absolutely love onions, but I find that after I have too many, it makes the inside of my mouth raw. And um, it kind of scratches the back of my throat. And I know it's probably because I've just liked it so much that maybe I've been overdoing it. So what happened with the pineapple, that's why I developed an allergy. I found that whenever I would have pineapple, the inside of my mouth would be raw. And I'd be like blistered and it just got so bad. It caused most mouth Mouth ulcers, ulcers, mouth. I don't know why that's tricky to say all of a sudden. So I like to chop it up, even though it's going in the food processor, just so it doesn't end up in one part of the whole food processor. And I'll just mix it around in here. Has anybody got their kitchen down to a science to where they can just zip in and out? I really like to take time when I do things, which is the only reason why if you ever watch me, sometimes the videos can be kind of long. But I'm gonna try to keep moving while I'm talking. <laughs> And if you have any questions, you want to reach out to me, let me know in the comments. Um, you know that I will do my best to get to all the comments before the end of the day, the evening. I try to get back through all my com all the comments when I'm when I after I'm live. If I didn't get to you while we were live, especially if I can't read all of them, because that happens from time to time. So let's see. I'm trying to get the peel off, right? So technically, what I usually do is I just kind of twist it and it, it comes off a lot smoother. Or like I'll cut down the center and I'll use my knife to peel it off. See how he starts to sit up? He sits at the threshold, he's not supposed to. Somebody's been a little bit spoiled with the food lately. So we're trying to break these little habits. And it's very much what my angel would do. She would just face, it was kind of like, and on one hand I feel like they're keeping you company. On the other hand, you don't know if it's because, you know, they're waiting for scraps. Even when, and labs are extremely intelligent. I don't know, a dog that really isn't. There aren't too many unintelligible animals. Go lay down. Go on, you know that, no, you know, go. Down. See, 
they'll figure it out because if daddy comes in he won't be happy is the theory here so so for slippery little fella it just jumped out of my hands just like a gym door whoopsie <laughs> so you see how it's all around that what I like to do is I'll just go straight down the center anybody know this little trick oh <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. I miss doing these too. I don't do them as often. I can have a tendency, like I said, to spend a little too much time in the kitchen and uh, not get as much done because I just keep wrapping. And I really do enjoy talking, if you couldn't tell. Just whatever comes to mind. I get silly as you can't. If you, if you haven't seen me before, I get a little silly loop-de-loop -loop over here. And no, no brownies, no, no interference. Today we're all natural. Feeling good. Okay. So all your garlic. Mm, you need smell-o-vision, right? Oh, look out for flying. I'm not kidding. Flying garlic, right? It's got wings. <laughs> oh, what, what? Okay, so that was three cloves of garlic. I may go more, because you know, you can never do too much garlic and pesto. What do you feed your dog for dinner, y'all? You know what he's waiting on? He's got two plantains over there. And I may give him some papaya tonight because believe it or not, he is bonkers for the papaya too. So it's either the papaya. I don't stutter unless I get really, really nervous or upset. But papaya, he went bonkers. He loves jicama too. Have y'all ever tried jicama? He bought that. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Hickama, yum. Okay, so we're gonna put, I know I'm gonna use probably at least two of these. Oh, I'm gonna use hemp seeds too because sometimes what I do is I'll throw in the hemp seeds. Has anybody out there ever done a lacto-fermented pesto? That's a curious question. I'd be curious, tell me in the comments if you've ever done this before. I've been doing this for a few, I don't know how many years. How many, when did I start doing this? I've been doing kimchi and, and uh, sauerkrauts and uh, cabbage rejuvelac. I, I love to ferment. To me, it's awesome. Thanks. You're going to get... Uh, what we're going to do, if someone's writing the recipe down, it would be really helpful. So whoever writes it down, I would greatly appreciate it. What I'll do is I'll put it all together so that if I do tweak it even after the live, I'll post it as well. So basically, this is fermentation. And I will be licking spoons, so don't be worried about it. Bye, Teresa. I love you. Have a good evening. Hi, Susan. Mm. In the kitchen, I get down by licking my spoons. Don't be scared. This stays in the house. And you know what? Unless I'm serving it to somebody else, you don't have to worry about my cooties. I bring good vibes. So the good cooties. I don't know about, any, about anybody else. I like my cooties. Do you like your cooties? <laughs> I have a month that are going through my head right now. Cabbage rejuvelac is one of my favorites. I know they do it with wheat berries, but because I'm allergic to wheat, I stay away from that. And so when I found out about cabbage, the, the actual wheat rejuvelac, I knew there had to be another solution. And as soon as, I love that maybe that's sweet. I ain't scared. I went and, and researched it. And that's when I came up with, you can do it with quinoa. You can make quinoa, amaranth, millet, any type of grain, you can make a rejuvelac. And from my understanding, the, the Chinese or the Japanese use rice, the, the fermented or the water from the rice on their face to keep it like hydrated and minerals. I've been wanting to try that. I forgot what they call it, but I'm gonna do a little slight interruption to show you this is last night's coconut yogurt. Exactly what is on the title, Joseph, I am making lacto-fermented pesto. So instead of using oils in this, what I like to do is I, I'm going to use some of my kimchi. I'm going to use some nutritional yeast because that will give it the cheesy flavor. I'm going to use some chickpea miso 
Again, it enhances that cheesy flavor. And I have some, this is the kimchi right here. I also have some kale from our garden. I'm actually gonna throw these in there because I've done this before with the kale, OMG. In fact, I should get some of those leaves because I'll do another batch afterward. But what I like to do is change up what I mix in there that it's not just the pesto itself. This is going in the fridge and I'm gonna grab the hemp seeds for the rest of this recipe as well. Somebody knows they're not supposed to be in the kitchen. So, oh, and I'm gonna get the ginger. So here we go with the hemp seeds. This is what we have left in the house. Where did I put that? The knife is right here. So I'm gonna take this knob of ginger, maybe a little bit more actually. I will sneak ginger into anything I can possibly put it in. Because to me, with the anti-inflammatory properties, you can't go wrong. So if anybody out there is ever suffering from premenstrual or menstruation, pains, cramps, or you have a headache, or you have any type of physical pain, you can just start chewing on some fresh ginger, and it will really help, because it immediately goes in, and start, it's an anti-inflammatory. So it starts fighting on the inflammation. It starts to help with the healing process, what I really should say, because in, inflammation is your body just creating that, that natural barrier so that your body has protection so it can heal. See what's going on over here, right? Got a little doggy cray cray over here. Thinks he's getting fed. I did tell him I would feed him when we get home, but it's all good. Okay. So there we go. This is probably a good thumb of ginger. And I have three cloves of garlic so far. There's half an avocado in there. We're gonna put this other one in here. I like to make sure, like, I'll touch each and every one of the avocados in the house first to determine which one needs to be used most quickly. And see how perfect that is? Like, you can't make this stuff up. Like, when you can take that, and most of the times I can just pop it out, but sometimes I'll just twist it out. And there it is. How perfect is that? Now, it felt soft on the side, so you want to also make sure that you look inside. I'm just going to kind of slice through it. So it breaks it up when I, <clears throat> what happens sometimes is if it's soft, it could be that it just fell or it's soft because it has a black spot. So it has a black spot. Now, when it has the black spots, I like to pick them out, right? <clears throat> and uh, who out there is an avocado aficionado? There is one of the first times I saw the tree that is original alligator pear or the alligator egg, they call it too. It has these prickly, sneaky Pete, that's cute. It has these prickly on the actual tree limbs on the whole base of it. It's so cool. Right, Joseph? Yum. I have to have an avocado a day at least. And I can easily eat several. I'm not worried. Fat doesn't make you fat. That's all I'm saying. Your ha your brain needs healthy fats. And it's it's such a good amino uh, amino acid complex. Like you can't get as there's not a lot of um, full complex plants out there. There are. It's just that when you got something that's yummy, you want to put it in your tummy. I'm a poet. Yes, I know it. Yep, yep. Here's some kale. <gasps> you surprised me with the flower. Thank you. Is it a flower? I don't know. Oh. Maybe. But it, they use kale. I was talking with one of my kundalini yoga types, my buds, um, who works in a florist. And he, he said they use the kale leaves. And I know I've seen this, and I thought that was sweet. They use the kale leaves in bouquets and I said oh yeah the purple ones you know sometimes you see them in there I mean so it's actually edible so we have something that's been trying to eat up the leaves apparently and I just like to take off those little pieces I'll just pluck, prick them, pluck, them, pluck them off hey stop it 
I gotta attack the dog. Stop it. He, he started licking and itching. So we do have a couple, we have some critters trying to get at our leaves. But it, these are so awesome sauce. See what I mean though, when you see this? Something's been trying to eat our kale. It is that time of year. Everything's looking for something to eat. So, that was sweet. I'm very happy. Now I get some kale to go in this. This will be really yummy too. So I've done it with kale. I've done it with um, parsley, with arugula, or arugula in Italiano. And it's really good for, um, you know, it enhances the bioavailability of the food and the nutrients when you, when you lack to ferment. So if you're skeptical, you might find that fermented foods, just try them if you like them, right? Hi, Noveta, how are you? And how is it out in Las Vegas? Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. I always think of uh, Elvis Presley, right? Because there's so many impersonators. Parsley or garden parsley, yes. I have all sorts of goodies out there. Isn't that pretty? It's a, it's a floral leaf. You smell the smell, like, cause especially with my fingers on it. My fingers got some garlic going on over here. So what I was saying earlier, what I'm gonna do is with these from earlier that um, Tom was using, he, took, he used the leaves and Stems have so much nutrients, so what I like to do is I like to kind of chop them up because they're going to get ground up in the in this wonderful blender. So far we have one whole avocado in there right now. See, sometimes I can also end up putting a little too much of this ingredient. Anybody? What's your favorite pesto? So pe pesto genovese and then pesto siciliano. That's one of my favorites because it has pine nuts. And it's it's very, the first time I had it really, really fresh. I was down in Sicily visiting with a friend and, and their family, basically. And my friend's wife, she made this amazing pesto, fresh, like pine nuts. More, I'm really picky about pine nuts. Pine nuts to me, most of them taste rancid. And what you don't know is, you, I don't know that you can even get pine nuts that are truly raw because you have to bake the whole pine cone to get the nuts out. Because I had spoken many times and wanted to try it, I just never got around to do it. Ooh, sun-dried tomatoes are good pesto too. You have to be careful with tomatoes, but I do like to make it an amazing lacto-fermented ketchup too. Oh, my sister and I, we were like, oh yeah. We love this kind of stuff. So the pesto genovese, it's pine nuts, but it tasted like a peanut butter. It was that flavorful. Like I'd never had anything like that. Is that not the raddest? Okay, we're getting back to more basil. Wish you could be here or at least smell this. It's just amazing, the floral scents that are coming off of everything. So let's see. And then we're gonna add some of the, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you that we got a good, the kale probably equals about a cup. The um, basil we got some, let me say. I'm trying to clean these up. So then I'll put them in a jar and I'll leave them up overnight. I Yeah, with pine nuts, is, pine nuts I, I wouldn't mind using. I'm just, like I said, pine nuts I'm a little bit of a snob because I've found that most of the stuff out there is just, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's rancid. Even if it's refrigerated, it doesn't mean it tastes good. And then I get that funky aftertaste. So yeah, it, it, if it's fresh, fresh, yum, yum. Whew. I'm just so excited about this because I haven't made this in a while. Okay, so. Doo, 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 doo. I didn't realize I got a whole lot of pesto going on in here tonight. And you know what you can do to preserve them? You can put them in water. And you know that they'll grow roots when you like just snip off the end and preferably one with the leaves, right? So to preserve these, you can put them in water 
and then when you put them in the water they'll grow stems and then you can put them out in the yard even better if you end up having some flowers on them and then you can just plant the seeds when they dry I have a uh, I have seeds plenty of seeds these things will populate like crazy one of my friends said the best thing to do is try to catch it before it 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 flowers so that you don't have the overgrowth it's where you get more leaves is my understanding yeah they you have to get high quality that's the bottom line with pine nuts so do y'all make pesto at home and what are your ingredients i'm curious so i don't do cheese as much oh Aw, thank you, Mandy. That's a sweet compliment. I'm sure you're just as pretty as, as, as you think I am because, you know, if you spot it, you got it, honey. We see something in another. That is you, too. I know that I didn't always take compliments very well. I didn't see myself as pretty. We have one lemon. I'm going to... So, my girlfriend reminded me, if you, if you take it and you roll it on the counter... It'll be easier to juice and to squeeze. It won't be as hard. And then we've got the kimchi. So what I'm going to do with the kimchi, getting down and dirty with the kimchi tonight. I think we're gonna do at least an hour, uh, not an hour, a one and a half of an avocado at the least. And with the kimchi, I think we're gonna do, well, we'll see in a second. That's, it's gonna be a, probably a bit, Let's say a cup of kimchi, maybe three quarters of a cup. It's going to be a little pus. pus. Oh. What's your son na son's name, Mandy? Is he watching with you? It's really nice if you can use some of the liquid. I don't have a lot of liquid in this, but I'll see what I can get out of this. This really gives it a nice color as well. believe it or not the kimchi has some garlic and has some some um what did I say the ginger the ginger and garlic already so for those of you who don't know I was in the Air Force for over 10 years and I was stationed in Korea so I had had Korean food before I went to Korea but it was even more of a treat to be in Korea and to also experience the culture so yeah, I had had the bulgogi beforehand. Never had the kegogi, the dog. Kind of glad I didn't in the end. I think I feel really, really guilty. Mostly because I haven't have had dogs. And the process behind how they make the meat so sweet is, is kind of like, wow. So if you're an animal lover and you understand that they have, they beat the animal before, that's how they get the adrenaline kicked into the blood. That's what I learned. So, taking the last mm. of, so that's a good tablespoon, mm, that's a teaspoon actually, I'm going to need more. So, we're going to get, I'm going to pull out a new one. Mmm, oh my gosh, Don, that must have been awesome to get them fresh. Dun, 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 dun. Voila! Cesa. Abbiamo miso, miso di ceci. Sai che cos'è ceci? Chippies. Ceci in Italian is chippies. Oh. So I like this because they age it. And to me, that's the key to a true organic, um, not organic, but a true processed fermentation is it, it is aged. I've never done it. I, I wanted to try making my own miso, but that hasn't happened. So, well, that was wacky. That wasn't the phone, the TV, the, I don't know what that was. We got personality, personality, personality. I'm having, I'm having technical difficulties opening up this box too. I've never had that kind of problem before. Is anybody else? So certified gluten-free, isn't that nice for those of us who are allergic to gluten? Oh, that is so rad. I've never seen that before when I've, and I've bought these a lot. 
Hi, Sherry. Good evening. So we're making a lacto ferment. Hi, Amanda. What's your son's name? Never watched me before. I lick everything. Sorry. It's just a fact of life. Not trying to upset anybody. But just know what you're stepping into. My only disclaimer. Don't get mad. Get gas. Happiness is your birthright. So this is two tables, two teaspoons now. We'll say this is two teaspoons. We're gonna go for a third. Oh, this stuff's really yummy too, so gotta be careful about how much. You'd be going to the bathroom quite regularly. But hydration is key. Okay, so we've got the miso. Again, one and a half avocado. I'm probably gonna put in more. Now it's time. Let's go for the nutritional yeast because then when I get the powder and I have to turn the fan off, when I put this in there because it's of a powder form and with the fan on too, here's the key. Using the lemon will also moisten it down. Anytime I've used nutritional yeast, I notice when it dries up, it sticks to everything. So I, I try to keep the moisture within and I'm gonna say this is gonna end up being about a half a cup. Yeah, maybe just under a half a cup, maybe. No, a quarter cup. No, this is more like a quarter cup, which is in the tablespoon realm, right? So I've just scoop, scooped out one, two, three, four. We'll see if I need to add more. There's at least four or five teaspoons, right? And what you'll find is a lot of nutritional yeast has to be fortified, that it doesn't have the B12 that we thought it did. This is just one of the things I've learned in a lot of research, and one of my girlfriends and I have talked about this. Mmm. That's so cheesy. They so good. Hi, Lucille. How are you doing tonight, honey? Buona sera. I like to add turmeric to it as well. Because to me, turmeric is like a special ingredient that you can hide in anything and everything. You don't need much. That's probably like a quarter of a teaspoon because you don't need much. This makes me so excited. I'm taking my time because I'm really excited about making this. Sometimes I'll use actual walnuts or I'll use Brazil nuts or I'll use, um, what else have I, I've used pine nuts in it too. And I've used, I have done it with uh, pumpkin seeds. Yes, I like children. Yes, I do. I don't have any. I have nieces and nephews. Hmm. Nuts are good. So I have not done it with anything but the, I could do it with pecans. There, I would go more with the earthier nuts because of the, the nature of this. So we're gonna do about a, a quarter cup of hemp seeds and I'm just measuring it by eye because we really don't need that much. Not yet because I'm probably going to end up adding more greens. I still have some, I have parsley over there on the side that's going to go in there as well. So while we have all these beautiful ingredients, I'm going to throw in some more basil because again you can never have too much basil, it's, that's why it's pesto. Pesto, the base is basil. And then I'm going to squeeze the lemon in there. Need a little citrus. The citrus. Limone. I vista. I don't know, Mandy, Amanda, if I'm going to have children or not. Stay tuned. You never know. I never say never on anything anymore. Life has a funny way of, of showing up wherever you say no and wherever your attention grows. What you resist will be what persists. So if I persist in, in resisting, well, I'll just show up in my life, one way or the other, whatever it may be. I, the first thing I'll, sh I'll share with you that I thought that was the funniest thing, I never said I was gonna become a vegan or a vegetarian, and I never will because I don't believe in labels. But there was, there were, there was one month that I used to repeat over and over and over again. I'm never giving up my real butter and my filet mignon. Anybody out there? Years later, when I found out I was allergic to gluten, 
it just gradually fell off my plate, not because I disliked it, not because I didn't want the taste, but then I had also learned about things like meat glue, which is made of gluten, hello glue, and a lot of the deception out there. It wasn't even about the treatment of animals. I had to look at the food, um, you know, like what does the animal eat? Because whatever the animal eats, I'm gonna eat. Because you are secondhand, whether it's smoking or eating. If you eat something else that eats something else, then you're eating what it ate. So if it eats something you're allergic to, you have to consider that. And I really, I mean, that's how deep I had to go into researching and finding out about my own body and what was gonna work and what wasn't. Did I wanna stop eating meat? No, of course, it tasted great. Do I crave it? No, I really don't. And, it, and I can't say that I'll never not eat it again either because then that would be a, a hypocrisy if I did end up doing it. So never say never. That way, just like anything, you don't set yourself up for a failure for anything in your life. If you show up with just a childlike mentality and recognize that life is happening for you, not to you, not against you, but recognize that life is an opportunity for you to show up to it. If I turn around and I have all these expectations and then they don't get fulfilled or, or met, then who's gonna suffer the most? Me, the one who's attached to them. Hi, Kristen, beautiful, good to see you tonight. So, if I didn't say so, my name is Lana, by the way. Some of you don't know, if you're on the business page here, you might not have ever seen me before. So if you don't know who I am, and this is your first time seeing me, please put your name in the comments and just let me know a little bit about you. I do have an actual personal Facebook, it's Lana A. Labonte. And I'll put it in the comments, I'll, I'll respond to you so that you'll get it as well. And earlier today I did a review on panties, some pancakes, <laughs> which was a lot of fun by the way. I ended up dragging out those shoes, ladies, right? Who doesn't like some nice shoes? I'm just saying, especially Italian shoes, fancy design of Italian shoes. Tonight we're, we're showing off the new kicks. These are the Under Armors that I reviewed the other day, right? What, what? Is that close enough? Oh. I'm sorry, oof, I got caught on the counter. <laughs> I get really silly, I'm very wacky, I'm just naturally who I am. We're, this is all about being rad and raw, raw and rad, ridiculously, raw, authentically, unapologetically you, right? And so we have fun here. We're all about embracing your inner child, letting yourself out to play. Cause you know, some of us weren't allowed to play when we were younger, right? So that inner child, he wants to get out. So I'm gonna suggest if you're not already in our group, Amanda, ninja flip on over to the group, Ridiculously Raw Authentic, with the same title as this page and create a new post, introduce yourself, tell us a rad story about you. Let us get to know you. Aw, thank you so very much. You, I really appreciate that, beautiful. That makes my day, too. <laughs> Whenever I hear somebody tell me how much you appreciate us, I'm truly, truly, like, humbled because there are times when I have to remind myself, you know what? People like you. They really like you. I didn't always like me. So sometimes I have those moments in my own I'm, I'm perfectly fine with me now, but before, boy, I, I really was a hard, hard ass. My name is Lana, L-A-N-A, -A, and I never thought, <laughs> thank you, Shelly, <laughs> I never thought about my name backwards, but it kind of makes sense, and there is no coincidence about words and vibration, but if you say my name lat backwards, it's L-A-N-A, -A. backwards it's A-N-A-L. I've been a little bit obsessed, obsessive compulsive over my life. And most of it was because of a coping mechanism when I was a child. And when my sisters and I went through some traumas with sexual abuse, that was how, if I had control over certain aspects of my life, and I was very hard on myself. So all of that created what we call the personality. Our personalities are what we create to deal with whatever it is we dealt with in the past. And we can change our personalities whenever we want. It just takes a little bit of time rewriting our stories, right? Also, for those of you in here, if you're not already following us on, on YouTube or Instagram, please ninja flip over to YouTube 
and support us and subscribe to our channel. Even if you don't go over there all the time, that's okay too. The more people that we have supporting us across the platforms, the better. And the more we can deliver more amazing content, if you think it's amazing. I think it's amazing if you think it's amazing. I'm not sure some days. Some days I'm off, some days I'm on. Crazy eyes is crazy does. Where did I put that knife? Oh, there it is. So what we're gonna do, hi Erin, honey. We're gonna cut up the lemon. Okay, here's the part where I usually take the longest. It's because I like to get all the segments of the lemon itself and I gotta get out the seeds. So we're gonna throw the seeds in there. I wonder if I did it the other way, it would be easier. That might work. So I'm just gonna cut this down the center. I'm just spitting all sorts of seeds out here. I should have just taken the... What I like to do is put the segments and the juice in there. So I'm doing kind of like a little tester over here, right? I'm making a mess. Trying to make sure I get all the seeds out because I like to cut around the segments and put the segments into it. It takes a little bit more time, but to me, a little attentions to detail are also the things that make it the more special and sweeter. Like when I make almond milk in the past, if you've ever made your own fresh almond milk, it typically, you know, like you'll see people, they'll do it all fancy. They'll use the straining bag and they'll keep the pulp out. I personally, if I'm gonna put it in a blender, a smoothie, why pull out the pulp? Just throw it all in there. All you gotta do is blend it on up. But if you're gonna use it as a juice or you wanna separate the pulp, I find that, like I was doing the review on my Blendtec, for example, the Blendtec does a really good job of pulsing it so fine you don't feel the pulp. So you really don't need to strain it unless you just don't like the separation. But hey, this is not gonna hurt anything. And yes, I just licked the knife. Good evening, Becky. And you know, yum. Lemon is so good for you. It activates, like if you eat greens, somebody was talking about um, spinach and not getting their iron. And I said, I was mentioning that you want to add. I want to try that miso. Miso only. Oh, me. Miso paste. Or the chickpea miso just by itself. You've never done that before? I have. I haven't. I don't think I've tried. You have two brands, don't you? This is the chickpea one. I only use the same one. This is my favorite chickpea miso, by the way, with the old uh, miso master. What's that one? Same one. Oh, how come they're different color? They're not different color. No. One just looks brighter because it has something in it. And this smells good. Oh. Like that smells delicious. That's a lot. I don't want that much. Take half. There you go. No, I have to tell me twice. <laughs> that smells so good. See, that's why I said I wish we had smell vision Don't worry, that probably will happen. How much of it did you put in there? How many did I put in there? Uh, three teaspoons. Unless somebody else had written it down and they know that I, I don't know. That's actually really good. It's really salty, huh? Yeah, super salty. Hi, Shelly. Oh, look at you and your... your My dent it ends. Your dent it ends. Your what, what, dent it ends. We gotta get that seed out of there. See, this is the, the one thing. You don't want to end up with lemon seeds in there. Y'all see Miss Lana's compost? See? She gets an old lettuce thing and just always has this. Whoosh, whoosh. And it rotates. <laughs> My name is Compost. <laughs> <laughs> so I love the flavor of this on top of adding the kimchi. Kind of gives it that extra kick. The lemon? Yeah. The lemon and the lemon hand enhances everything pretty much, huh? Mm hmm. <sighs> so I drink lemon water all the time. She doesn't do it. You, drink lemon water that much <clears throat> and her lemon water always tastes way better than mine <laughs> it's like because look see how much prep she look how much love and tender care she, look how meticulous that she is with her prep 
<clears throat> I mean, I could do that, but I got I got the brain juice to do that. But <clears throat> you know, if someone's lemon water tastes better than yours, you you know, you probably let that person prepare a lot of stuff for you. And like yesterday, I I finished my third pizza, the Costco pizza, and she chiffonaded. Chiffonade. Chiffonade. Say it again. Chiffonade. She chiffonaded the basil. Basil. Basile. Basile. And basilico, basilico. just doing that released basil. the the essential oils in the basil or basil, and it just just that that small attention to detail with the ingredients is so next level. Like her smoothies compared to my smoothies, again I can do it, but she's she helps me a lot. We have a sweet balance where we know each other's strengths and we embrace them and honor them and appreciate them in each other. Isn't that the key to our success, honey? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said be off. <clears throat> Uh-oh. He's getting in there. Uh-oh. What you putting your fingers on, dude? I know what you up to. Pretty colors. Go all sparkly on us. Put sparkles on this. <gasps> I actually probably shouldn't mess around with this, huh? Mm. <clears throat> it is fun, though. I know, but I don't want to blow you away. Like, I don't want it to crash or anything. Yeah, Facebook's been doing some funky stuff lately. Somebody was complaining about not being able to see their own comments on st posts last night, and I was having the exact same problem. So I wasn't able to keep up with everybody's comments. <gasps> <laughs> it took it off. It took off. <laughs> I saw that. You, you got one on too. Honey, you're adorable. Keep prepping. Keep that. Look at What's up? I was looking down. You, were, you had a hand down. Do not pee pee check me without proper authorization. I got my dun dun duns on. May I pee pee check you, Mr. Oh, watch your mouth. <laughs> Don't flick that tongue at me, sir. Speaking to me in that tone. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Yours is way... That's so cool. Dun, dun, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you check. OMG, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's really cool. That is funny. <laughs> I'll be back to taste it, honey. It smells really, really good. What, what are we going to eat with? Well, there's several things you can do. We can spir We have spiralized vegetables that I brought back the right. other day from Samwa because I thought, you know what? They got we got sweet potato, uh, red beet, and squash in there. Sweet potato for sure. Well, it's already. It doesn't need to be cooked. No, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the sweet potato with that one stuff you brought back from Sadna or the Sunday thing, and then I'll just I'll play with that with. That's probably going to taste better the next day and the next day and the next day. But I definitely want to play with it and taste it. Well, the pesto is not going to be ready for 24 hours. Oh, because it's got to ferment? Yes. So that's the thing. It needs to ferment overnight. The longer it ferments, the better it gets. He's going to heat me out of the kitchen. Put the oven over here. So he likes to. He's, we got a lot of sweet potatoes we got to cook up. And actually, Buddy will probably enjoy this. That's what we need to do is give him some of those, too. Okay, have fun. Thank you, I'm gonna go put that tire on that wheelbarrow. Woo, he's getting manly over there. Yeah. Put his, he's got his dunt dun on. He's going Superman. Or Super Ninja in this case, right? We are almost to the mixing part. It only takes longer just because I'm so meticulous, like Tom said. What did we do with the kimchi? Dun, dun, dun. I got a lid and no kimchi. Did I put the kimchi back in the fridge without the lid? That does not. No, it's right there. I put it right there. I knew that I didn't, but I had to ask because you know, you put it out the question to the universe. What did I do with it? And it shows up. So how is everybody's Throwback Thursday? Have any old things been surfacing for you? Better yet, how is life in general? I know that. Um, a lot of people, a lot of stuff's been going on, and I've been seeing a lot of people's posts in our group. 
talking about you know the anxiety, the the frustration, the urges, which is natural, by the way. We are human. We are wearing a human spaceship suit, but we are still able to control. See, that's the interesting thing about humans versus animals. We have control over the mind if we allow ourselves. If we we master our mind versus just going with our so-called animal instinct. Well, I just feel like it, so I'm just going to do it. Which is totally ego, by the way. And if you don't think it is, well, then, oh well. Stuff happens. Just a little bit of um, black pepper because there is, right? I, no, we are animals. But what I'm saying in that respect, dear, is that you have to remember that animals don't have discernment. Humans do. So as, in, as a human animal... Right? I really do believe it is getting better, Shelly. I totally agree with you. As humans, we can look at something and we can discern if it's a healthy choice to proceed or if it's a craving, a so-called instinct, which is unhealthy. Because a lot of times, those so-called human, those animal, not the human, the animal instincts, the animal behavior is really be addictions. It's, it's behavior that we use as self-sabotage, we do it because we're like, ah, right? Hey, Shannon. Hi, beautiful. Loved your post in the group today, dear. You are amazing, sister. I love reading everyone. I, I, I truly have to encourage those of you who are in the group, or even if you're not, if you have not introduced yourself in the group, please do me a favor. Go ninja flip in the group and introduce yourself because truly we have an amazing community right and susan i am holding you your dad in my thoughts and my prayers because i know there's a lot of people who are going through surgeries there are a lot of people going through physical ailments and so just extra vibes good vibes i believe in the power of prayer truly ah uh, addiction right is that is tom my husband no we're not on physical paper husband and wife, if that is what you're asking. But he is my partner in crime. He's my my ninja man. He's my gatekeeper. He's a special somebody in my life. So here we go. I'm just gonna, I think, actually that might be a little too much, but I love parsley. Do you like parsley? Like, can you like not chop on that? Because it smells so good. And it's a prebiotic. What does that mean? It's great for freshening your breath. A prebiotic is good for pre-digestive enzymes. Preparing your body to digest. Now, I use the stems. A lot of people, they think they just use the, the leaves. That's your prerogative, your choice. You, you do your preference. I do mine. There's no right or wrong way. It's just how do you like to do it. <laughs> that's actually a kind of a funny thing because so many people like my food and then I watch how they make theirs and they, they do things differently so they wonder why my food supposedly tastes better sometimes and I'm like well, there's some, there's, I could tell you some things but it's your process so I'm not going to interrupt it because we all have our own creative expression and I believe everybody should be honored and allowed to do that I love trying other people's foods whenever I go out with friends it's so much fun I know y'all, those of you who are fee food, prebiotics make you constipated, really? These? You know what any medications are you? Awesome, Man Amanda. I will click the confirm when I'm done. So, let's see, 7.35. This, it, cause if you're on medication, I know that'll totally mess up anything. If you're not drinking enough fluids. Now I'm somebody who's suffered with constipation all my life. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, not fun. Hey, Brandy. I'm chewing on it because it's just so good. Hmm. Blood pressure, that's what does it to everybody, honey. That medication. Now, I'm not going to tell you you shouldn't take it. My dad's on it, too. But with that stuff, I understand you can't even have citrus. Like, um grapefruit which I think is crazy but you know if it works for you 
never poo poo on something that's working. If there's another alternative, if you want to find it, you'll find it. That's one. That's my theory. Okay, so we're gonna pulse away. It's gonna get a little noisy, so I'm gonna apologize now. Are any of you else out there taking medications that want to get off of them? We're gonna start with low. It really isn't that low. gorgeous I mean seriously oh my gosh the smell <gasps> mm. and you know I'm gonna end up having to add some juice to it because and I, I will add more ingredients to mix it around more um, because what happens is as you can tell before you push it down oh my gosh OMG delish like seriously Mm. I've got spinach in the refrigerator too. That was the other thing I wanted to add to this. Now, so I've done spinach before, so I'll do spinach afterward. Hyperthyroid and Hashimoto's. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, you know, it, and, and there are a lot of people out there that are on medications, and if they're working for you, great. Um, I can't speak because I'm not a doctor. Uh, I just know that I can't stand medication. I don't like pills. I barely can even tolerate taking supplements and I prefer sublingual, sublingual, which is liquid form, so that it goes under my tongue and absorbs that way. I prefer to my food to be my medicine, but I understand a lot of people, they're just not in that space. So, you know, I'm never gonna tell somebody they shouldn't take something or shame them for what they're on because there really is an epidemic of, you know, there are people who have been on them for years and maybe they became dependent and then there's the there's people who don't know any better and so you got to just know your body and when you're ready to come into that if that's what your path is is to switch off and get off the meds you'll know it you'll find your way fatigue I suffered fatigue for years and I'm gonna tell you it had a lot to do with the foods I was eating and and it was up until even the past couple of years that I was really like I still would wake up with sleepy eyes brain fog and I really had to cut down and I knew it was the um, the gluten so like for example diabetics eating things that are high grains that's a type of sugar that really spikes your insulin whereas fruits and vegetables don't spike your insulin the same that's my understanding mmm you know what that's beautiful Shannon see that's the beauty is that you can wean off of it when you're ready it's just a matter of choice and direction and this proper guidance and just finding out what it is that's the root cause of everything I think is the is the key because many times what we're doing is we're putting we're putting band-aids on top of symptoms instead of looking at the root cause and why we were even there so this is so absolutely beautiful I put the other half so we got one and a half avocados in here again we've got we're gonna have about a cup of kimchi and the liquid too because I really like the liquid I'm probably gonna have to add a little water because with the nutritional yeast and I mean like a dash because it really just needs something to moisten it. so that's probably what it felt like was two tablespoons of water um, but we're gonna add more sometimes I'll put in cilantro too I love that y'all are sharing this because truly um, it's, it's, it's a huge thing that when you're ready, you, you know, if you really want to be off the meds, but don't let anybody shame you while you're, while you're on them. And don't feel guilty about having to go the, the pharmaceutical route if you have had to. I know that if I had to, I'm not going to turn around and say no, but I'm also going to try everything I can bef before I end up on that route. But that's everyone's path is different and that's what needs to be honored. So I'm making a lacto-fermented pesto. And so far, and the beauty about this blender is the blade doesn't come out like the other one. 
Look at this. Look at how gorgeous that is. So because I've got so much space in the blender, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm adding more. See how pretty that is? You can't make this, these colors up. This is nature. So I had made my seasonal rad, kim, my rad seasonal kimchi, and it always changes. So I'm always adding more ginger. See these big jars back there? That's more kimchi. That's how much kimchi's in the house. And I will show you because they are huge. And I put in more cabbage last week when I went to San Juan. This past week, I should say. Look at this. This is my kimchi. Ridiculous. Yum, yum, yum. See how it's bubbling? Can you see the bubbles? It's, it's, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's beautiful colors, I know. So that's the red kit, red or purple cabbage, however you want to call it. And then the other one is right next to it. It's funny because one of the things is it wouldn't be nice to have one of those crocs, those, those German crocs. You see how there's a big gap because it, when you shake it, because what's happening is there's air in there and so it's pushing up the cabbage. That's why. Oh, some beautiful yummies. I'm on a papaya kick as well right now, so we're going to use the, the liquid in this as well. I told you I lick everything. Just, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, okay, so I'm cleaning up more pesto. I think what I'll probably do is pull out some of the spinach to throw in there, but I'm going to taste it first. I promise I'm almost done. But I wanted to, I want to fill this up. I don't know. I, I got to do the whole thing. And because I feel like it's a little strong still, if it has a little too much of a cheesy flavor, then it needs to be, needs more stuff in it too. More greens. Greens, like the pesto has to have lots of green because it's so beautiful. E molto buono. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you know, it's it's amazing how we can be so restricted from the real food. I know I want to hear more about, you know, what it is you can and cannot eat, Linda. Like I was saying, so, and I'm really excited about hearing from you on that. Well, we can collab a live if you want or whatever you want to do on that. Awesome! Oh, the picture's keeping for you finally. Yay, we love that. Okay, what do we got? So I like, like I was saying earlier, I have to pick off all the dark leaves, the dark pieces. I don't take, and if the whole, if it's not all bad, keep it. It's all good in the end. But that's when it's starting to turn. So you wanna, I try to use the, the, the ones that have the most leaves on it that need to be plucked off so that I'm not wasting. This is just how I operate. I go for what is the most ripe, just like with the bananas. I will check each banana to make sure that I'm getting the most recent, like the ripest one versus going for something that's not as ripe as another one. Because that's just how you got, you've got to use food that's available that needs to be used right away. If you don't, then you're wasting food. And I really hate to waste food. That's just my thing. That might be why I like to lift my spoon, but then my food does taste good. So I'm just saying. Mi piace spinaci. Oh, veramente, anche tu. Oh, mi piace tantissimo. Qualche volta io solo mangio con le mani mette nella bocca <coughs> excuse me what's that spicy kimchi I got it in my throat like seriously <coughs> picante molto picante in fact next year I will be hosting a retreat to Italy I'm going to be in the Tuscan area this will be ecstatic, it'll be awesome. Here's a buggy in here. Oh, check you out, it's a little snail. Oh, that is so cool. That is super rad. <coughs> you know it's fresh when you have this little guy in there. Can y'all see him? Can you see, I've never seen him that small. You, <laughs> fai tu con i piedi. You eat with your feet, I love it. Look at this little guy. 
OMG, I can't just throw him in there. He's got to go outside. Although they're slugs, they leave their little trails. That is so cute. I don't want to kill him, so I'm going to leave him. He's fine. He's not hurting anything. I remember when I was working in Bratislava, um, I had a translator, and he just laughed at me when I sent my salad back because there was a fly in it. And he said, you should pay more for that because it's fresh. Because they don't use, they use the least amount of pesticides. And back then I couldn't appreciate it like I can now. He changed into his chonies. These are the high performance chonies. <clears throat> oh, that's right, because he's doing manly stuff. Oh, you put more in. Look at this. Well, it still needs. Did you put hemp seeds in there? Yep. Oh, what? He loves it when. Six grams of pro amino acids per tablespoon of hemp seeds. That's mm. too cheesy, so I'm putting more of this in it. It needs a toning down, and so that's why I'm adding. That he was actually pretty good. I'm sure it is, but you're also getting the kimchi from the top, too. Do I clean my veggies? Well, depends. Sometimes, yes, when I know it needs it, and sometimes, no, when I know it doesn't. A little dirt don't hurt. Check this little guy out. I want you to see what hap What I found. It's a little slug. Oh, he needs wow. to go outside, but not in our garden. Did you show them that? Yeah, isn't that rad? Whoa. This what, is a what caterpillar. Slug? It's a caterpillar, It's a right? what, what slug. It's a slug. He's got little two wow. little antennas sticking out. Did you give him like a uh, what what love action? Did you yeah. show him it to him? Yeah, but we all love your thumb action, baby. Look at look at the little guy. What's that little guy? Look at little guy. Um, <laughs> you know what? You should tell you should tell him about these that you're uh, that gave you. Gave oh, the kale They're really really good. These are what Sunder made. Sunder made these from our yoga teacher training last weekend. Look, they're really really good. They taste like um, chilled Doritos, but not like as spicy, but they're like cheesy. They're really good. Oops, sorry, honey. Better than chips, right? These are red kale chips. They're good. They are good. She used a dehydrator, right? Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Okay, so we're going to put more of the parsley in there. Put more parsley in. Again, a wonderful prebiotic. So I'm gonna have this in the sweet potato. Tell them about this. So this is lentil soup that Hadion made for the teacher training last weekend. It's a lot. It's a lot. Super, super high in, again, amino acids. Lentils. Lentiki. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this out so I can get it room temperature. Hey, you know what we should do when she's done? You'll be done in 10 minutes, right? I hope so. We will do a, um, a Cray Cray Labonte, like a live one. I'll go get the, I'll go get the light and she'll do a Cray Cray Labonte and we'll do it, <laughs> we'll do it on, we'll do it on the pesto. If you have not seen her Cray Cray Labonte videos, just go to any social media platform and type in hashtag Cray Cray Labonte and she will make you pee a little. It's really, really funny. We'll do a live one. They're fun. She does one take. She's amazing. Kind of like earlier? Yeah. Alright, so 10 minutes, right? Yeah, I think 10 minutes. Honey, I got something for you. What? <laughs> she legend. Special boo just for you. Boo for <laughs> What's the secret to a good, good partnership y'all if you can't laugh you got some serious tight chonies on remember what i was talking if you were ta tapped into my video earlier talking about panties if you got your panties up in a wad then you need to let that stuff loose let it go let it flow babufa city like serious if you're holding on to something it's just gonna hurt you more you know it's gonna fester no pun intended. That's where disease comes from. I, I I've let go more around him than I have with anybody else. <laughs> I can tell you, I don't think anybody else that I've ever been with has ever heard me do that, ever. So that's when you know you got a special partnership. I'm just saying. I'm pretty happy. 
<laughs> right? Okay. Um, we're having technical issues on, on in the house. Well, now that's interesting. I never noticed that. Maybe that locks into place that way. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> and then just do a quick pulse through and then I think it's through and done. My gosh, this is so gorgeous. This smells amazing. Mm. And that's even Boom. better. Where is the light? Oh, okay. Blinded by the light Wrapped up in the juice and the night Where'd he go? Oh, here he goes. He's trying to escape. He I'll needs to go outside. That little guy needs to go outside. Mm -hmm. You got a spinach one, army. I feel like I've done this because I gotta, I, I gotta use this up. I don't want it to go bad. That's how I, ra I wrap. Like I, when I see the, the leaves are looking like this. I really don't like to waste them, so I, I gotta use them quickly. All right, you ready to try it? Oh right. yeah, yeah, for sure. Just straight up, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that okay. smells really, really good. Right? <clears throat> you want me to do the video with the spoon and make me try? Um, I just want to taste right now, and then there you go. <laughs> it's really good. There, I got a, I got a large piece of something though. Probably kimchi. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, that is really good. Very, very good. So, just to show y'all the finished product. Isn't that beautiful? So, <clears throat> can you pick this up? Huh? <clears throat> okay, we just do one take, y'all. We're gonna turn the lights out, and we're gonna do a cray cray labante. Oh my gosh, that is gonna be so good when it's fermented more. And you can add more lemon to this. Basically, what I did for the recipe, whoever wrote it down, hopefully somebody did. I can't guarantee this one's gonna get a write up. This just takes too much. It, it's it's a lot because I can't guarantee what I tell you to write down. Is he? Hi -ya! Hi -ya! <laughs> what? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go. You gotta put that light in the middle, don't you? Bring it up, baby. Are you directing me? Oh, oh, I'm in trouble. She's directing me. He doesn't like when I try to do that. I'm the director. <laughs> and we always take one take. And this is what we're going to do. You're going to slide and get your finger out of my butt. <laughs> she, she tried to slide in a digit in my widget. <laughs> okay, you're going to yeah. Well, that's right. Yours and mine. This one. Okay. And then you're going to look directly at that camera lens. You're going to do a 20 second intro all about your pesto in Italian. And you're going to seduce some. Are you paying attention? Yep, I hear you. And you're going to seduce some and tell them why they want it. Then you're going to look at me and then you're going to taste it. Or no, I'm going to taste it. And then you're going to do your outro. And then we're going to say, and then when she does her outro, we're going to click bye bye, okay? Look at. She did, I don't even think she listened. 
<laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Camera. Three, two, one, action. Buonasera. Come va? Voglio assaggiare. Questo è la pe il pesto mio fatto. Lacto. Fermentazione. Culturato. Veramente buonissimo, deve provare! Vuoi provarlo? Vuoi provarlo tu? Uh, non sai quanto! Quanto vuoi provare? Aspetta! Assaggialo, Tom! Assaggialo, amore mio! Come? Qualmozze. Veramente. Non hai sentito niente. Solo hai è... visto e pesto. Non sentito niente. Non ho fatto. Che cos'era? Mangia buono. Metti nella bocca. E di gestire nello stomaco buono. Uh, non essere già essere arrabbiata! Uh.